terrifying today, when a sleeping giant wakes up to destruction. Past volcanic eruptions in Yellowstone National Park have been global disasters. Now, scientists are trying to predict how this time bomb will explode or go off. A map of Yellowstone National Park, Wyoming, USA, shows the outline of Yellowstone's giant volcanic caldera. The Yellowstone supervolcano last erupted about 640,000 years ago. The sleeping giant is located in the western United States. Although it stirs occasionally, it hasn't stirred from its slumber for nearly 70,000 years. But when it finally awakens, it may roar and whir with unprecedented power. This giant is a supervolcano that lies beneath Yellowstone National Park, a nature preserve and forest that spans a vast expanse that stretches through the states of Wyoming, Idaho, and Montana. The volcano itself is actually located in northwestern Wyoming, which is where most of Yellowstone is located. The ground above Yellowstone's supervolcano sits on a hotspot made of molten and semi-molten rock called magma. As magma moves into the magma chamber or reservoir located about 6 to 10 kilometers, 4 to 6 miles, beneath the park, the ground swells. As the magma begins to harden and cool, the ground sinks. Volcanologists, who have been measuring this activity since 1923, say the ground rose about 25 centimeters, 9.8 inches, between 2004 and 2009. But in 2010, the ground began to sink. The period of slow, Steady rise has many scientists wondering whether Yellowstone will erupt anytime soon. And if it does, there are concerns about how intense the eruption will be. The big question is if Yellowstone started shaking tomorrow, what would happen? Said Dr. Steve Anderson, a volcanologist and professor of Earth Sciences at the University of Northern Colorado. I don't think we know exactly what's going to happen. While scientists may not know exactly what's going to happen, they do have an idea, and most say it's unlikely to be the end of the world. In fact, Dr. Jacob Lowenstern, a research geologist and scientist in charge at the Yellowstone Volcano Observatory, says Yellowstone is currently a dormant volcano with a low level of unrest. There's no recent activity to suggest anything is happening. If there is something that is going to happen, there's nothing to show for it right now, he said. But recent levels of underground activity have fueled speculation about the intensity of an eruption. The volcano has been growing at the fastest rate ever recorded for the past decade. Yellowstone also experiences an average of between 1,000 and 3,000 earthquakes per year. Most of the quakes are barely felt, measuring magnitude 3 or less. But these quakes give scientists insight into how quickly the magma chamber beneath the park is filling. The increase in shaking and crackling sounds across the park may indicate that new magma is being pumped into the reservoir. Even with the increase in earthquakes, Scientists don't think the rumblings in the magma chamber pose an imminent threat. But because people haven't been around to analyze everything that's happening at Yellowstone, it's hard to predict what's actually happening, making it hard for geologists to predict Yellowstone's next move. Examining the volcano's distant past does provide clues. Geological evidence suggests that Yellowstone has produced three colossal eruptions in the past 2.1 million years. Volcanologists say the eruptions occurred in a gap of about 600,000 to 800,000 years. Evidence of the last major event, estimated to have occurred about 640,000 years ago, 
is scattered throughout the park and across thousands of miles of surrounding landscape. Each previous eruption spewed out vast amounts of volcanic ash, gas, magma and other debris that covered much of the continental U.S. for now. Yellowstone is dormant, with scientists monitoring its every hiccup or cough in an attempt to predict its next move. 